Brian, not just from Great Britain, but from Scotland. Ah. And not just from Scotland, but from the north of Scotland. Your hometown too. Well, nearly representing the Forge Gym in Inverness. She's come an awful long way to be here. This is Linda Banks, 95 kilos. Here we go, Linda Banks, 92.5, sorry, 95, that's deep. nice and deep, fights yeah. it well, yes, that's good. She's on the board. Gino's doing his Scottish now. Oh, God. I apologize. His, his French was better. <laughs> his Japanese was even up. Linda Banks. From Great Britain. From the Forge Gym in Inverness, Scotland. Oh. 100 kilos on the bar. She works in education, Linda. I think she may actually be a, a head teacher but she certainly works in the education sector. I think I was just in, yes. It was a fight, but it should pass. Yep. Three wide lights. Nice opener. Well, that's put, put Spanks into second place for the time being in a very competitive flight. And the other? Yeah, uh, high bar it incorporates a little more quad strength. <laughs> low bar, you could use a little bit more of the back. Um, a lot of sumo deadlifters use the low bar. Low bar is probably more popular. But, uh, this is Linda Banks. Representing Great Britain, putting together a good series, 9100, now going 105 kilos, looking determined. She's a much higher bar. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it's a fight. Oh, it's a fight. Oh, she battles. Wow. I think that is good. She even let out a What do the referees cry. say? Yes. Two to one. Let out a war cry halfway through that battle. Hey. Linda Braveheart Banks. Now with the high bar, you stay far more upright. Yeah. You see her here. Wowzers. Whoa, that's a fight. Isn't it just? Well, she didn't leave anything behind, did she? In her opener, yeah. she might have just sink the gold. Absolutely. Now, Linda Banks, we're into the 63 kilo class for the last five lifters. First up is Banks, 57.5. 57.5. Then there's two and 60, one and 65. So although Banks is opening lightest, you know, she could be getting a safe one in. Possibilities of another medal here. It's just a case of how easy this is, how challenging some of the other lifters find their openers. This class is all pretty competitive. Absolutely. Easy. Bang, that was easy. Linda Banks, yeah. three white lights for Linda Banks. Once again, a big thank you to our main sponsors uh, for this championship, SBD, Titan and Elico. We very much value your support, without which events of this nature simply could not take place. Thank you once again. She's added five kilos. You know, a pretty big jump, five kilos um, with these weights. It's just a, such a tight race. Yeah. If you play too conservative, you can fall behind. Yeah, so. that's right. Well, Banks is going to ask the questions of the others. And if she can get this, and if she can get, make this look comfortable, it's also going to put doubts in the eyes of the other coaches yeah. who may put stuff on for their lifters that they're not capable of. So this is Banks, 62.5. Oh, it's a fight. Yeah, give a cheer, Inverness. Oh, Your girl is doing well. That is three wide lights. Linda Banks. Yeah, I'd definitely send a message to the other competitors. Not sure she actually lives in Inverness. I think it might be down Fort William Way. Certainly she trains in the Forge Gym in Inverness. Oh, yeah. All right, loading it up.
Guard Canada. Yeah, it looks like we got a two-way battle for silver and a two-way battle for bronze. It's going to be close. First up is Linda Banks. She must make this lift to have any chance of a bench medal. Simple as that. Currently in fifth place, this would put her into... She's actually, it would only move her into fourth. Melee already has 65 lighter body weight. But this will build the total. She's fighting. She knows. Well, we felt 62.5 was close to the limit. She's done well. Scotland is always in the house, Gino. <laughs> A heavy Scottish contingent here. Particularly in the media team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it will put her in fourth place. It'll leave her seven and a half kilos behind Blondin. Not insurmountable. Not insurmountable, particularly if Blondin's had her limit with the first. Yep, and she's within striking distance. Yeah, must make this. Yep. Must show us that she has something in reserve. If she has any hope for a medal, oh, the back bends, but that she is keeps good. It moving. Yep. And there is more there for Linda Banks. Yeah, Three wide lights. That moved easy. Watch this again. Uh, Fought it off the floor and then two. bang. Gail Johnson on one, Canada. Bars loaded on two, 152.5 here comes Jackie. <laughs> we had to get a dig at bodybuilding. Linda least, Banks. At least once today. 140 kilos. Can she catch up? She needs this deadlift if she's going to have hope. If she has any hope at all, she must make this lift. Good. Now her back rounds, and it takes a lot out of you, but it moved quickly. Has she locked out? What do they say? Yes, she yeah. has. Three whites. And it goes on and on to the very last deadlift. Now does Banks need this to take the bronze? Yes, she does. Banks has put a huge 150 kilos on the bar, and if she gets this, she rips the bronze medal out of Blondin's hand. Blondin just forced Banks' this hand. This is a huge, huge lift for Banks, but there's a huge reward at the end of it if she can possibly make it. Fighting for that medal. Well, she already had the deadlift bronze. What's to be lost by trying for the overall bronze? She looks fired up. She needs to fight harder than she has ever fought in her life. And if she does, there's a world bronze medal for her. Comes up slow, she's but fighting, she's fighting. Does she lock it out? 